Let's go to NBC News Capitol Hill correspondent Garrett Hake. He is at Black Lives Matter Plaza in D.C. where there is quite a crowd behind you. Garrett, tell us what's been going on there this evening. Well, Allison, ever since the verdict was read, folks in D.C. have been trickling out into Black Lives Matter Plaza to participate in what seems like a giant group exhalation. I mean, there was so much uh, built up anxiety yeah. about the possibility that this verdict would go the other way in cities like D.C. And I've been out here the course of the day. This uh, crowd was probably uh, three quarters media about an hour ago, and more and more people have been coming out. I think just to take part in this moment here that's not quite celebratory, but certainly involves that sense of relief for folks, again, that this did not go the other way, and that we're not going to see the same kind of protest, the same kind of angry protest we saw last summer in this same location. So uh, a step in the right direction, certainly, in this community, Allison. Garrett, uh, also wondering what you're hearing from lawmakers tonight. Are you getting some reaction from Capitol Hill? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think that exhale on Capitol Hill has been pretty pronounced as well. Lawmakers were concerned about the possibility yeah. that we might see protests, violent protests in cities. There's also been a recognition that the one branch of the government here, the judiciary branch, has done a bit of its job with this sentencing, and that now Congress has to do theirs. There's still the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act that has passed the House, gone nowhere in the Senate. Of course, Republican Senator Tim Scott has his own police reform bill that he had been working on. Now he's working together uh, with Democrats to potentially craft a compromise. But I think Joyce Beatty, who's the chairwoman of the Congressional Black Caucus, put it best when she described uh, the work that remains here. Take a listen to what she said. This verdict, we certainly agree with. Guilty on all charges. We want our message to be very clear that this is just the first step. We know clearly that justice has been delayed. So when we come today, we will continue to say all of the names. We will fight continuously for all of those who died or have been injured senselessly by law enforcement. So, Allison, you hear it much closer to the beginning of the fight for justice in this case than the end of it, at least yeah. from Capitol Hill's perspective out here on the streets of D.C. It's a Miami sound machine kind of night, which tells you something about the character of the event we're experiencing here on the streets of the district. Hey, there's certainly a sense of celebration when Gloria Stefan is involved. Garrett Hake, thank you so much. You bet. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.